Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you how to select and uh, delete multiple records at a time. So just I want to delete uh, these records uh, from the table. Just uh, you have to delete it uh, from the table and uh, just add it uh, the another one like uh, that is. Uh, so after that you have to also delete So there is uh, just I want to delete all these records from the database table looking like that. So uh, how to do this? Uh, this is the simple thing you can do in uh, ASP.NET Core. Uh, so the first interface is the index all items from the database. So I have a employee class. You notice that employee class in which we have ID, name, city and email and uh, just create a view model that is employee view model in which we have id name city and email but uh, here the new property that is the selected list item select list item types the mps the first interface of the screen is this so list of uh, data so just uh, go to that section employee controller in employee controller create a view model list uh, uh, object list of employee view model that is vm get all the records from the database table by using context.employees.to list and uh, by using the for each loop of the items you get all the employees so one by one employee pass to the view model so vm.add view employee view model and pass to the view model item.id item.name from the model to view model and pass that view model to the uh, view section so just come to the view section so here we have a view model as a model class as the uh, i list type and here we have a form uh, the action is a delete employee and controller is this and uh, the first thing uh, here we have select all type checkboxes so there is that thing that thing is select all checkboxes so just create it input type checkbox uh, name is all check id is uh, select all and table created uh, name city and email so looking like that email name and city and after that uh, use uh, in the t body use for loop and i is zero model dot count and in the first column uh, you can take three things uh, that is the hidden type uh, EMPS dot value uh, model dot I of EMPS I mean to say that in the view model dot EMPS uh, select list item type value hold three things like uh, text value and selected okay that is the three things so uh, so get the value if selected so uh, here is the checkbox Mm, that is the checkbox there is checkbox and also add also use hidden field in the form of id just i want to get the ids and selected uh, values of the checkboxes okay so another also get the name there is no need actually so remove from the this thing okay so name city and email and one button control uh, when we select uh, when uh, click on the select all checkboxes then that uh, code will be generated i mean to say that selected all checkboxes and anyone select uh, checkboxes like uh, uh, that thing that uh, is thing Oops. Okay, so uh, if we select all thing, then that code will be generated. I'm I'm going to say that this dot prop dot checked select all dot prop dot checked. Okay, now if anyone uh, select 
from the given list then select all checkboxes um, unchecked then that code will be submitted so uh, sorry when we click on the checkbox select all checkboxes then that code will be generated and uh, when we select any code from the given list then select all checkboxes unchecked so that code will be generated okay so after that when if both are selected and click on the delete button then that thing will pass to the controller section and which action that is delete employee employee and here we have a code that is delete employee in which we can pass a list of employee view model that is emp and emp hold three things that is the selected id that is the two thing only okay so uh, just create a employee uh, list and uh, in the employee there is the emp if item dot emps dot selected i mean to say that checkbox checkboxes is selected then retrieve the employee by using their id property so there is an the item dot id selected id and fill that selected employee into the list and after that you can remove and uh, remove employee by using remove range so thank you very much for uh, watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core